So, what's going on YouTube? So welcome to my first vlog. So I am T minus six days out from my first official release. So I thought why not document it? Uh, I haven't ever seen any content out there of someone documenting their first release. And it can be a bit daunting and overwhelming if you've never done it before. So I'm doing it to those guys that haven't had a release yet and for myself as well uh for like personal documentation it's, you know i want this youtube channel also to help and inform people but also for me to be able to look back on in a few years and go oh shit like that was my first release second release big play here so on and so forth so today is sunday the 26th of march and i had a gig last night with Hazo music at Revs, which I will just insert some clips here. And now I am just currently at one of my favourite spots, the Chilled Hawk, which is called Barator. So yeah, I've just finished up this walk and then once I'm back to the car. I will talk about my initial thoughts and feelings when we're about six days out from my first release. Ooh. So, that was a walk done. Oh, 10k steps, something like that. So, thoughts and feelings on the release. So far, I'm excited. Um, I don't really know what to expect when it comes to releasing on Beatport or anything like that. But so far, we've had some really good support through the distribution services that we have used. So I will insert the images here of the support. So there's some really big names on there. Um, for anyone who's wondering, some of the names have a and R teams that go through these distribution services and email services for promos. So if you notice on a lot of DJs and producers stories, Marco Corolla is downloading every track because there's someone quickly listening to one of the tracks and if it's anything half decent, they download it and then get sent off to him, then he shortlists it. Um, so that's why you'll often see Marco Carilla, Paco Usan, and Joseph Caparati. They're like three really big ones that have A&R teams. Now, there are people that do it personally. Um, so Jamie Jones is renowned for doing it personally. So if you get support through Jamie Jones when on your first releases or any releases, that's a really good sign because he's definitely listened to that himself and he may or more likely show support on it. Same with Michael Bibby. So they're two huge names within the industry. Um, he's renowned for only downloading stuff that he will play. So it's always best to keep an eye out um, on his stories when he's downloading stuff. But yeah, besides that, I, I don't know what to expect really, um, especially when it comes to like the socials and following increase going up and stuff like that. I don't know how it's all gonna work, how it's all gonna pan out. Um, so, for the rest of the day, I'm gonna get some food because I haven't eaten anything yet since last night, so I'm starving. And I'm probably just gonna make a new beat. I've got two collab tracks that I need to do. So, yeah, that'll be me done for the day. I'll show you if I make anything decent in the studio. Uh, but who the fuck knows, eh? Uh, Hi, uh, can I get a... Okay, 
So I'm going to go through some of the different platforms that I think are good to promote releases on. So we're going to start with SoundCloud. SoundCloud is a really quick and easy one to do. What I would recommend doing is putting up a three minute track preview of each track that's getting released. I would ask for the label for the artwork and I would title it your name, the track name, and then brackets, the label's name, and then the release date. You can always then put a link on the track as well for people to buy it and that will take them to Beatport. Another good thing to do on SoundCloud is to see if the label is doing a mix series or a podcast series. If they're not, then don't worry, you can always do one yourself, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily essential. Next up, you wanna make sure your beat port is all in check. So make sure you have a photo up there, a bio, and make sure to link your personal beat port to the artist beat port. You can't do this until the track is available to pre-order, but it's very easy to do. Just type it in on Google, people artist link, and it will come up and you'll just be able to link it. The only other thing you need to do is create a chart on Beatport. This is really easy to do and depending on the label, the label will then put forward the chart to Beatport to maybe get featured on one of their pages. I recommend doing some housekeeping stuff on Spotify. It's not necessarily gonna help promote the release, but once your track is released, it's going to be very beneficial. So make sure you have the picture updated to your latest press picks. I'd then make sure you have a playlist that then you can feature the track in. And then once the track is live to stream, you need to create a Spotify artist account. You just do this by linking your account to the artist account. It needs to get verified. Once you've done that, then you can create your track of the day. You can update it with a bio and you can link any gigs you have to your Spotify account. Remember that Spotify is open to a mass audience. So it's really important just to get down the basics of creating a playlist, updating it regularly, and having all your bio and latest pictures on there. And then finally, I'd say the most important one is Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, anything where you can make one post and copy it across multiple platforms. We're just gonna focus on Instagram because it's the one that most people use. So five to seven days out before the release, I would create a post informing your audience and potentially a new audience that the track is coming out, what label it's on, and when it's coming out. I would personally try and convey some sort of human element to this. It's very generic to see people posting a quick track preview, what label it's gonna be out on, pre-order link in bio. It's not really enticing anyone to go and buy it, it's just very generic and it doesn't show people what the release means to the artist. Now, if you don't feel comfortable speaking in front of a camera like this, you can always use the description to write a bit of information about the release, how it came about and what it means to you. Now, this next part is really important about this post. It is trying to create some sort of value exchange to increase the likelihood of people pre-ordering it or buying it. Now, I'm sure we've all had an inbox DM from an artist who has a release and it's a very generic copy and paste message that he sent to all of his followers saying, can you please buy this? It means a lot, blah, 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 blah. Do not do this. It is the quickest way to lose respect for yourself. It's not personal for the individual reading it and it just seems needy and that you're coming across that you really need people to buy this. So this is where I would offer some sort of value exchange. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving stuff away for free if people pre-order the track. This is then gonna entice people to go and pre-order it because then you're getting what you want and they're getting then free unreleased music. So always have this in mind when it comes to creating content, promoting stuff, give a reason for people to go and do that. So once you've shown your followers that you've got the release five, seven days out before the date, then you need to create some sort of hype around the release. This is really easy to do. I would just recommend posting a video or something to do with the release every single day. So it could be a breakdown of the track. You now have 90 seconds in the Instagram reels. So there's plenty of time there just to talk through different parts of the track. You could show some videos where you've gotten support. If you've got no support, maybe try and get a clip of yourself playing it or ask a friend to play it. 
and then just go to that gig and record it. Fast forward to the release date, I would then post track previews of the release with the artwork, tagging the label and making sure there's a clear link to where you can buy the track. Another good thing to suggest to the label is an Instagram takeover. Some labels may not be up for doing this, but it's always worth asking because once again, you are providing a value exchange. I would then just make sure you are posting the charts and how it's doing throughout the next couple of weeks on your stories. Any support that you get is really important to post and that would be about it. I would try and just keep support rolling for two, three weeks, maybe even four weeks once release date. But after that, most labels will already have their next release lined up. So you can just sort of dip down then. So with all that being said, I'm going to double check that I've done all of that. Um, get tonight's post ready for the release that I need to make. And then I need to get to the gym and try and work on a new track as well today has absolutely flown by so i am gonna crack on and catch up with you later many hours later <sighs> in those days where everything goes really smooth and you get loads of shit done everything's one after the other bang 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 yeah that, that one today everything stopped working this mic was out of charge, the mouse ran out of battery, the computer froze, you name it, it happened. So I'm about three hours behind schedule. I still have all the content I said I was going to make to edit. I'm only just getting off to the gym now. I forgot to eat, so now I'm in a rush. So I've got a protein shake, this oat bar thing, and a cream egg which I just dropped to fucking cheer myself up. I doubt I'll record in the gym today because it will be busy as fuck at four o'clock and I'm still a bit of a pussy uh, recording in front of a camera. So how are we doing? It is now Wednesday, two days out from release day. Um, since I last spoke to you, I've been making a lot of content, um, which will be posted throughout the rest of the week. So if you want to see that, head over to my Instagram to check that out. Um, but the main reason why I'm hopping on today is because this morning I received the biggest support yet. We got support from Jamie Jones. Uh, I've been gunning down this one for literally months now so i was so buzzed to see it um the support was on his hot robot radio show it wasn't a play in the club so we can still work on that throughout this year but it's a still a massive step in the right direction but yeah it's sick to think in the space of 18 months i have been doing this sort of brendan james profile it was august 2021 i set it up um yeah we've now received support from huge djs i've had a track played in one of the best clubs in the world it's, it's just mad to sort of reflect back on you know so for like anyone who's watching this who's like a bit struggling with producing at the moment like don't feel like you're getting anywhere just honestly keep at it because in the space of just a few weeks you things from just 360 like you won't believe literally it was only the beginning of march sort of end of february beginning of march i was thinking what the fuck am i doing and in the space of that time i've had three more tracks signed i have had support from jamie jones i've had huge names in the industry download my latest release uh, i've started this youtube channel which is growing at a really decent rate for three weeks in so yeah just keep at it and um so for the rest of the day about midday now uh i've been sending emails and promo work for the release still it's very time consuming um but the more time you put in the more you get out so 
I'm now just currently at my local woods. It's literally five minutes down the road from me, which is lovely. And I'm going to stop sending emails, stop doing promo work, and I'm actually going to produce because with all this content creating and emailing, it takes up a lot of time. And, you know, producing is the craft that needs to be focused on. So I will update you with whatever I make later in the studio today. So it is release day, Friday the 31st of March. My first official EP is out now. So go and stream it on Spotify and Apple Music and grab it on Beatport because it looks like it's doing pretty good already. So it is featured as the first EP in the hype section of the minimal deep tech chart on the front page of that genre which is mad considering that is my first release. So I'm a first time artist on Beatport, first release, and we're already on that sort of front page of the genre that the track has been released in, or the EP that has been released in. That's put me on a real buzz. I put it all on my social media this morning and last night, um, and it's all done really well. It's getting really good engagement put up a paid promotion as well so hopefully that should sort of carry it through maybe the next week i'm excited definitely a lot different to how i thought i was going to feel i thought i was just going to feel a bit meh about it all because that's usually how i feel about certain things i don't tend to get excited but yeah i'm on a bit of a buzz about this one it is now about one one o'clock and i still have to edit this whole youtube video and i want to get it up by seven o'clock so that sounds like a lot of time but for someone who's been doing youtube a month it does not take me five hours to edit a video so i've just been to tesco's to grab the essential caffeine protein bar as my release day treat so i went out for food last night and saw john wick 4 which is sick i'd highly recommend that if you haven't tried these already they're actually better than chocolate bars come at me and a protein shake as well because i ran out of protein powder this morning which was lovely exactly what you want when you're rushing around making content so yeah i will insert a time lapse of me editing this video and i will close off the video after i've done that Right, and that is a wrap. I have finished editing this video. That only took about four hours or four and a half hours. So that's pretty good going for my skill of editing at the minute. We also found out that the release is sitting at 31 on the top 100 releases, which is sick, seeing as it's been out, what? <laughs> Not even a day. I was trying to do the math to work out how long it's been out, but. It's been a long week, right? So massive thank you for anyone that's already purchased it. Uh, it means the world. Um, if you haven't, then head over to Beatport and download it. Um, I've got to say a massive thank you as well for the support and the love on the YouTube channel so far. We are four weeks in. We are heading towards 50 subscribers, which I think is really good for four weeks. So yeah, massive thank you for that. And massive thank you if you've got it this far through watching a 19 minute vlog of me pretty much just rambling on. Please let me know in the comments below if you find these videos interesting or anything like that. And if you've made it this far, in the description, there is gonna be a link to two free unreleased tracks of mine to say thank you for all the love on the YouTube channel. And 
to making it to the end of this vlog. So I'll catch you on next week's video in which we will be jumping back into some tutorials. I think we're going to do a mix down one of one of my good friends Owen Price's track. And yeah, thank you very much. Cheers for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.